Hi guys, Todd here. Right, I'm going to show you two mods which I really like. They're not perfect, but I still really like them. It's the Molly, the Molly V1 and the Molly V2. Now the V2 is not long out and you can get it in various stores. You know, you'll get it in, I'm pretty sure you'll get it in High Creek, Phileas Fogg, places like that. And the V2 will work out about the £115 mark. Now I was given both of these direct by Ludovic himself. Um, and the V1 I got when I was in Poland, I was going to say Portugal again, Poland, and uh, the V2 was just sent over to me uh, just before Christmas. Everything else I'll cover as we go along. Close-ups. Now the V2 came to me in a box like this, and it's just a cardboard box, but uh, here we go. This one here is the Molly V1, and this one here is the Molly V2. Now there were several different versions, I think there was three versions, I could be wrong in that one, uh, feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, but, you know, they are pretty much the same size, they're made from the same material, uh, there's just slight differences. For both you're looking about 76mm in height, about 45mm across here, and 25mm across the top. They are both made from Delrin or Palm C, or, or just most folk will know it as Delrin. They have laser cut acrylic doors or PMMA doors for these, but you can get customised doors. There's many different types of doors available. Uh, I've seen quite a few on the High Creek page. Modmaker 510 on both, and also they both have copper strips inside, copper contacts. Right, let's start with the Molly V1. For this one, the doors come off really easy. I mean, we do have magnets here, you know, that are going to stick to the batteries. And you can see I've got a logo on here. But once again, there's many, many different types of doors that you can get. And these come in different colours as well. Big squonk window here, uh, no sharp edges, it's all, you know, rounded off, it's really comfortable. You can see the, the design going on here. It is very small and it is very comfortable to vape with. Uh, we have a button engraved here with Molly and we also have Molly engraved deeply on the back of the device. We have two little screws here uh, and you can if you want, you've got bolts, so we've got, sorry, nuts and bolts we'll say here that actually hold this copper strip in place and you can see just pushing the button here. It's got quite a short throw this one and I do like this throw a lot. The copper contacts, yes you're going to have to take these out every once in a while and you are going to have to clean them. Uh, I'm going to cover the contacts when we get to the end because I do have issues with these contacts. I will also say, unless you've got you know the appropriate little allen key and you know a little pair of needle nose pliers, Taking these contacts in and out is a bit of a pain in the tits, but you know, you've also got insulation running down this contact here as well. I've been using my Modmaker 510 bottles in here, and I'll be completely honest, I can't remember what bottle came with this. Um, but you know, any of the regular bottles will fit in here. I've not had any issues. The V2, the design is slightly different. I mean, we've still got this, you know, edging going on here. It's, it's much the same, and I do like that aspect of it. Uh, you will notice that we do have a back. So here's the back of the V1, and here's the back of the V2. Completely different. It's completely different. And we'll go back round to the front, and it is slightly different there again. This frosted door here has my, uh, this is my logo um, that uh, Ludovic did for me. Uh, so, you know, you can get customised panels or there are ones available. Um, and you've got a panel on the back here as well. And I hope this shows up. Can you see that? And you can see we've got Molly going down there once again, heavily engraved. So the door does pull off once again. And I can also pop that door out the back. So... Depending on what doors you go for, you can give this a totally different look. This one also came with, you know, one of the little uh, locking uh, switches here as well, which is always good to have. The contact strip is a bit different. This time it's held on at the bottom like this. So once again, you know, you have to unscrew this and take the strip right out to clean it properly. Uh, the throw is a bit on the longer side and I will also say that when this arrived the copper strip wasn't right. It, it wasn't right. The copper strip was actually 
at this point here, see the, the bend here? Well, that actually came out to about here. There was a hell of a bend in it, but I just pushed it back in a bit and everything was fine. Putting the batteries in and out of here, I don't have any issues with. It's very easy to get my battery in and out. It's the old slap and it pops out. Or you can push your battery from the back side, but that involves taking out the cover again. Uh, the one thing I will say is that you can see down here, my contacts, uh, I've got a, a little dimple here, but there was one up here when it arrived. This one here, I actually put in myself. Uh, because I was finding that with some of my batteries it just wouldn't fire, it, it wasn't making contact and that's even with VTC5s and things like that so I had to take the strip out and I had to you know just get it's one of the, the rods from modmaker.co.uk for actually creating these dimples or you could use a screwdriver or something like that and I just put you know just hammer the contact and now all my batteries work but when it arrived they didn't now the bottle that comes with it, uh, this is it's a, a cappy, I'm pretty sure it's a Sunbox cappy and, and and I really don't like these bottles because the threading, it's like a plastic cap going on to plastic threading. Uh, it's silicon, uh, it's food grade silicon and it's not overly soft, I do like the pressure on it but I just, I hate the threading on this. For some reason, I just absolutely detest this bottle, but that's just my personal taste. I mean, you will notice that, you know, when I put the bottle in there, I mean, look at the threading. It's, it's kind of janky and at an angle, and even with a battery in, you've still got that kind of kink going on. But I will say, it, it doesn't leak. I don't have any issues with leaking, and it does squonk well. Fitment on the doors is, is perfect, uh, and I can't fault it for that at all. That's it really for the close-ups, so we'll we'll go back up top and uh, we'll have a little chat. Now just to clarify once again, these were gifts. They weren't given to me to review. I wasn't asked to review them, but they are mods that I really like. I really like the Mollies a lot. Uh, the V1, and I've said this in quite a few vlogs in my end of year video, um, it's just copper contacts and it's a Mod Maker 510, but for whatever reason, this just seems to perform really well. And I use this a lot, an awful lot. Um, it's one of my favorite mods. The throw in the button is just perfect, but the downer on this one is that when it arrived, this thing ate all my batteries. It really did eat all my batteries and it was frustrating as hell and I hated it for that. So what I had to do was I took both my contacts, the top and the bottom strip out, I got a little file and I filed the edge off of the copper strips. Once I'd done that, I can now put my batteries in and out without any damage at all. And I'm not talking about any strange batteries. I'm talking about the common 25Rs, VTC5s, things like that. It just ate them. Now it doesn't. I've checked, I've looked in Facebook groups and things like that, and it was a common thing for a lot of people, but it's annoying. It was really annoying if I had bought it. Yes, it would piss me off because, you know, when you're buying something, you're spending 110, 15, 20 pound on something and it arrives and it's damaging your batteries. That is not good. That is wrong. Shouldn't happen. Shouldn't, just shouldn't happen. So I'm going to say massive negative for that. Positive. It's just really cool. <laughs> It's really, I mean, this Delrin, uh, the fire button, everything about it, I just love it. Now the V2, uh, once again, this was a gift and I have my personalised doors on here. I'm very, very lucky and, and I appreciate it so much. Uh, things I'll say is I don't like the throw in the button on this as much as I do on this. This was short, this has got a bit more travel to it. Um, Maybe I can adjust that a bit and tweak it, but it's something I haven't investigated, but just out the box, the throw is slightly longer. The bottle I'm not a fan of, it works. It puts juice to your atty, it doesn't leak, all's good there, so it's just a personal preference thing. 
uh, putting the batteries in and out, you know, it's, you know, give it a slap and the batteries come out. There's no damage to the wraps at all on mine. Once again, as with the V1, you've got a big squonk window here. I can get my thumb in there, no problem. And, and everything's good. I do like the updated design with the door on the back. That does mean if you're going to go and buy, you know, customised panels, you know, you're transforming the look of the whole mod, not just a front panel. The contact strip when it arrived was, you know, it was strange. There was a hell of a kink in it. But once again, I just put my thumb in it and flattened it out a bit and, and that was good. But it shouldn't come like that, you know, it really shouldn't. That is it for both of them. They both perform the exact same. They're both hardy, hardy little mods. And, do you know, at the end of the day, personal taste. There is something about both of these that I personally really like. I like the Delrin or the Palm C or whatever you want to call it. Um, it just feels tough. Uh, you know, if you picked up something like, a, and I know it costs a fraction of the price, but if you picked up something like a Druga, you know, you can squeeze it and feel everything moving. This is hardy as hell, this thing. I've got a, this is a, a Jazz by Van and Dell on top of the V2 just now. and it performs really well. And it looks, I think the black and white looks really good as well. Uh, that's it for the Mollies. Once again, these were both gifts. They were not given to me to review. My overall opinion on them is that I love them to bits, but when they arrived, there were flaws with both of them. And, and that's just something I felt I had to point out as a reviewer. Yes, you need tools to remove the contact strips to clean them. Yes, they're copper. They will need cleaning. Um, you're looking about, I think, about in the UK, to buy it about £115, I would say. And for me, if I lost either one of these, I would go out and buy another one. It's that simple. Uh, Ludovic, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, to everybody that's watching, thank you very much. If you have any comments, if there's anything, you know, if you have one of these, if you have any hints and tips on how to use them, then pop it in the comments below and share the info with other people. It's more than welcome. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye for now.